of your enthusiasm. Your righteous name, one that's gonna stand today. Let 
Let them say a brand new word that someone might know you live today. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we are hurting some of us down here. He is out of charge of fever and pain. Heavenly Father, but we can't make it without you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we're not uh, uh, complaining. We just need some help. Yeah. We need all our help come from you, Heavenly Father, but you made the heavens and the earth. Bless every family and home that's representing the earth and elsewhere. Give us that love that flows from heart to heart and breath to breath. Don't let us just say we love Heavenly Father. Let us show it. Heavenly Father, you showed your love when you died on Calvary's fall. That we might have a right to the tree of life. We just want to thank you. It is in our love and we ask it in Jesus' name. All you say. Amen. And thank God. And then while you stand here, let me introduce our speaker of the hour. Of course, he's not a stranger to Bethlehem. He's one of us. Amen. So. Let's raise our right hand and receive our own. Reverend Perry, yes. preach the word. Yes, Reverend Perry, yes. teach the word. Yes, Reverend Perry, yes, let God yes. use you right now. Yes. Come on, Reverend Perry.
then you ain't part of us. Yeah. But the main point is to come and thank God for what he's done for us. Oh, yeah. 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 And I just thank God for it. For all of you that are here, this, I, I feel good. Uh, I had stood up here in a long time to the last week. You made me put off, you had me put off the call. So I've been here two weeks in a row, so I feel fortunate. It's all right, yeah. son. I feel fortunate. But I just thank God for him and his word today. Amen. Because his word is a lamp unto my feet right. and a light unto my path. And I just thank him for being the light to my path. I thank him for being the lamp unto my feet. Because if he hadn't been, I'd have been walking in the wrong direction right now. But you got to let him be your life. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I played this all this morning. Get the light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I just thank God for it. I do all this talking because I'm not speaking so long. I know y'all got to go out to be here. <laughs> From the book of St. John 3 and 16, did everybody know that? Right. And then, after that, it goes to Acts 2. And 38. John 3, 16. If you got it, say amen. If you know it, say amen. amen. <laughs> and then Acts 2 and 38. He can fly in three, four. Acts 2 and 38. Just that one verse. Just that one verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not be perish, but have everlasting life. Acts 2.38. I might have to go another couple of words, but I'm not sure. You look at the Spirit and say that.
the main gift. The main gift. All right. Was in our text today. All right. The first scripture. All right. That was a gift. When he said, "For God so so loved us." And see, see. Now, now let, let me go back to what I said a while ago about if you don't buy him, buy nothing for Valentine's Day, yeah. uh, you're in a good trouble. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm sure that's what I'm going to be giving to him for midnight that day. <laughs> but God so loved us, but if you love your wife, you're going to have something anyway. Yeah. You love your husband, you're going to have him something anyway. Yeah. But that's the way God is. He loved us so that he gave his own. Begotten Son. And, and, and the scripture said that whosoever believeth in him should have eternal life. That's what you call it. He gave us something that no one else could give. Because, no, 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 no. see, I, I, I got a son. Oh, yeah. And I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Jesus opened the corner when God was looking for somebody to go down and redeem man. Yeah. Jesus over there in that corner said, like, guess what? I'll go. I'll go. God said, if you go down there, they're going to spit on you. He said, I'll go. He said, but if you go down there, they're going to beat you. Yeah. He said, but I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, if you go down there, they're going to kill you. I'll go. Yeah. He said, I'll go. Did you get your gift? Right. Yeah. Or did you take, take it for, best, for, for granted? I think I heard a preacher preach. I don't know who preached that sermon. Like in you. Don't take the law. For granted. Amen. Don't take it for granted. But he loved us so much that he gave us his son. Right. Yes. I just, I, I, I just get all shook up when somebody gives me a gift. It's something that came out of nowhere. Unexpected. And that's what it gives you. Unexpected. Something, if, 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 you, if, you, if you know it's coming, then it ain't come here. I'm, see, 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 when you go to your mailbox and they have a check in there that you didn't know was coming, yeah. see, see, that's what you call a gift. Yeah, that's a gift. And, 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 and it makes you just go, oh! Did you get your gift? Did you look in your mailbox? It might be a gift in there. So, and then we go on to the next part of our scriptures in Acts 2 and 38. Mm -hmm. Peter told them, say, what? What did Peter tell them? Mm -hmm. Repent. Yeah. And you shall receive the what? Yeah. The gift yeah. of the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Now, I know a lot of folks like to say Holy Spirit, but I like to say what's in there. They said the Holy Ghost. And the ghost is the spirit. And what did God say? God is the spirit. And they that worship him must worship him. How? In spirit. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. So when he re when they of Pentecost was fully come. Right. Yeah, they were all gathered together, praising the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes I wish we could do that. Yeah. I'll be getting the other one. So have what was in here. I'm not talking about just here, okay? Yeah. But have what was in here. We came to praise the Lord. Up. But a third of us, then another third came to see what was going on. Yeah. Another <laughs> third came when they were made to come. <laughs> now we will. We wonder why it ain't that many people here because back in the days. Your parents made you go. You, you didn't have no choice. You didn't have no choice whether you wanted to go to church. We went away all the kids or the parents ain't coming and ain't making the kids come. We didn't have a we didn't have a choice. 
I'll pass my mama one day and I know I got in trouble for what I got to be. I was like, oh, daddy don't never go. You making us go. <laughs> so, but they were all in one place praising the Lord. And the Bible said that suddenly came a sound as of a rushing mighty wind. What? Yeah. Now, a rushing mighty wind. And, 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 and come on. have you ever seen a tornado? I know you probably seen one in Brooklyn. I don't know, Reverend, Reverend you might have. But, you know, that. You know, you know. but if you ever seen a tornado, first of all, it'd be just as quiet. Then all of a sudden, it just blows up on you. Yep, I am. So that's how I came in, because they were praying to God. They didn't uh, they weren't trying to look around and see what Rem Blake was doing. They were trying to look around and see what Sister Jackson was doing. They were praising the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were praising the Lord. And the Bible said because they were in one place and with one accord, well, yeah, that's why the Spirit of God came in as a rushing mighty wind. And the Bible said not only did it get the poor wind, not only did he get the pews, he got the bathroom and everything else. He said he filled a house yeah. where well, they were sitting. What? Yeah. And they began to speak with club and tongue. And the spirit gave them up. What? Did you get your gift? Are you here today to be one of those like that was in the day of Pentecost? Are we here to praise the Lord so that the Spirit of God can move in here as a rush and mighty wind? Yeah, yeah. See, the thing about it is, the thing about it is, you ain't got to ask for the Holy Ghost. It's yours. It's yours. That's a gift he give us. And, 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 and I, I don't know why you wouldn't want it, because he said, you shall receive power yeah, yeah. after the Holy Ghost. He didn't say after you ask for it. It's after the Holy Ghost come up. Okay. Yeah. So if you are sincere when you give your life to Christ, the Holy Ghost is our man. Yeah. 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 And guess what? Can't nobody take you away from it. What? Because yes. you got power. Yeah. You got power. Did you get your gift? I'm going to walk your clothes now. I know I ain't that long, but I don't need to be. That's good. Did you get your gift? Yeah, yeah. Over 2,000 years ago. All right. Okay. God gave us a gift. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And that gift came all the way from heaven down. What? Mm -hmm. And when he came from heaven down, he came down and walked. The dusty road. What? Right. The only thing he was guilty of was healing the sick, right. raising the dead, what? opening blind eyes. What? Did you get your gift? Oh, press it, press it. They tell me that they didn't like what he did. What? I know the doctors didn't like it because what? they couldn't make no money because he was healing the sick. Yeah. Yeah, the eye doctor didn't like it because. He made the blind to see. What the hell? The gynecologist didn't like it because the lady that had the issue of blood, yeah. all she did was touch the hymn of the blood. Yeah, but that's all he was guilty of. Yeah. Did you get your gift? Yeah. yeah, they tell me they took him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Yeah. They told me that uh, they whooped him all night long. Yeah. They tell me that they put a Ruddy Cross on the show. Well, they tell me they made him walk up the hill with a ruddy cross on his show. Yeah. Yeah, and the cross got too heavy yeah. for him to bear. Yeah. They say a man got down and helped him carry the cross. Well, yeah. But I came by and tell you that that man probably pulled out that pen uh -huh. and wrote that song that say, but Jesus bear uh -huh. the cross alone. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. all this world go free. Uh -huh. And then somebody said, no! There's the cross for everyone, yeah. and there's the cross for me. Yeah. They tell me they took my Jesus. Yeah. They stretched him 
wide and hung him high. Yeah, they yeah. put nails in his hands. Yeah. They put rivets in his feet. Really? But he never said a mother in the word, yeah. did you get your gift? Yeah. They tell me they hung him between two thieves. Yeah. One thief yeah. said, Jesus, if you're such a miracle worker, yeah. take yourself down off that cross yeah. and carry me with you. Yeah. The other thief said, Jesus, I've been a bad brother. Yeah. I never went to Sunday school. Yeah. I never came to your meeting. Yeah. But when you come into your kingdom, yeah. will you remember me? Yeah. And tell me, Jesus, stop that. Yeah. He stopped that. Yeah. Look over at him and say, I saw you yeah. when I was, my man paraphrasing, when I was preaching the sermon on the mountain. Yeah. But you were far away. Yeah. But every time I got close to you, you got away. Yeah. Now you can't go nowhere. But this day, Today thou should be with me in paradise. Yeah. He died, yeah. didn't he die? Yeah. He died, yeah. didn't he die? Yeah. Did you get your deal? Yeah. But if they took him down off that cross, yeah. put him in a bar or two, yeah. stayed there all night Friday, yeah. all day Saturday, yeah. all night Saturday night, yeah. early Sunday morning, yeah. he got up yeah. with all power in his hand. Yeah. Did you get your gift? Because yeah. you got all power. Yeah. If you got the Holy Ghost, yeah. you got the power to heal. Yeah. You got the power to see. Yeah. You got the power to walk. Yeah. You got the power yeah. to clap your hand. Yeah. Did you get your gift? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why no one yeah. will want that gift. He told you anything you ask for me in my name. He said, I give it to you. So why wouldn't you want that gift? Why would you want to just sit out and say, well, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. You ain't gonna never be ready. Never. You ain't gonna never be ready. Come as you are. You can't clean yourself up. No. God gonna clean you. All you gotta do is have a willing mind. And he will do the work for you. Did you get? Your gift. I got it. Hopefully by Christmas, um, we, 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 we spent so much money on <laughs> gifts, and that wasn't really the reason for the season. Right. But, and it really is not a gift because they expect it. They, they already told you what they want for Christmas. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Your wife can tell you what she wants for Valentine's Day. A deacon has told his wife what he wants for his birthday. Yeah. So it's really not a gift. So, did you get your gifts though? I want to be surprised. I want to be, I want to, if somebody give me a gift, I want to surprise me. Surprise me. Maybe I almost want to fall out. Yeah. Did you get your gift? Amen. Yeah. 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 I got it there. The doors of the church are now open. There may be one today. That's wondering when will they get their gift. And if you're here today, you got a gift this morning. He you opened your eyes. Amen. Life is a gift. It's a gift from the Lord. You've been contemplating on whether you want to give him a gift. The gift is when you give yourself to Him. Amen. Say, come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest unto your soul. The gift that I stand at the door and knock, and if you open that door, you say, I'll come in. Come in and I'll sit with you and you with me. That's a gift. That's a gift. Someone, 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 come on, someone this morning. Someone this morning. You know, that it's time to be a gift to the Lord. And you say, Lord, I repent. All my sins come into my life. Lead me and guide me. I've had 
many burdens and many lives for her. God, you still accept me just the way I pray. It's a gift. It's a gift. And it's here. Will you be ready? Oh, Jesus, come. Will you be ready?